Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here. And we are back in Imperion. Alright, guys, so. I did what I said I was going to do. And I started over on a new game. We got the base built, we got those two quests done. As you can see, we're just about even with where we're at. Um, got some shotgun ammo, just got my shotgun, got some pistol rounds, pistol, you know, all the little various things. I need some, well, I was going to say I need some biofuel, but this sucker is kind of occupied at the moment, so we'll just have to queue it up, I guess. And hope that we can get some made. Yeah, we'll make up like four. Oh, yeah, I also need... I need to get that stupid detector. Urgh, I always forget that thing. I always forget it. It's like the last thing I always build. Yep, the ore scanner. That's what I'm meaning. Well, and the detector. I need them both, really. So we're going to go ahead and queue all that up. Uh, we need to... Go to the next protocol... I guess, yeah, here we go, okay. So, basic exploration, let's activate that. Yes, let's go, let's do it. Tell me I don't need a motorcycle. You tell me to build a motorcycle, I'm gonna yell. You gonna pop up for me? Craft weapon, craft a detector, craft light armor. I haven't done any of that yet. Hmm. So, actually, I was going to go do the solo mission, I thought, but no, we're going to do this instead. We could probably do that. Ah, no, the motorbike. We already got a motorbike. No, explore alien sync. Yeah, so we do want to do this one. So, this one would be better than doing the solo mission, I think. Yeah, okay. We're going to keep on this. All right, so I need to craft a weapon, craft a detector, craft light armor. Um, and I'm making all this stuff right now. You know what? Let's just cancel it. Let's just cancel. Cancel all that. That stuff can sit there. We'll do that. Let's see, a weapon. What weapon can we craft? Um, do I have to unlock one? Or is that, have we reached the pinnacle of our, yeah... Yes, we have. Okay. And I need another level to unlock that. Okay, so we gotta go kill things. Is basically what this is telling me. So... Let's go get a level. Let's see what kind of mischief we can go get into. I think the water is this way. Yes, the swampy swamp. Okay. Oh, and just so y'all... Ooh, there's a thing right there. Just so y'all know that... Oh, you rolling up on me already, huh? Oh, what you got? What's wrong with you, huh? Down he goes. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say, just so y'all know, I did change the uh, crafting speed and the hunger back to normal because I just thought it was ridiculous to have it where it was so I went ahead and moved it back and also we are not too friendly with the Talon right now because apparently attacking like the mules and stuff is like a big no-no I think it was the mules it was either the mules or I don't know, I attacked something earlier. Maybe it was a parasaur. No, nope, it was it was the mules. I just saw the negative points with the talon. Yeah, so the talon don't really like us now because I've been killing mules. Um in fact where is it at? Yeah, in fact we're kinda hostile with the talon right now, so yeah, it is what it is. I know that if I attack predators, I think it keeps it, uh, 
keeps it low, but, or it doesn't affect it, but, you know, I was under the original assumption that as long as I wasn't in Talon territory, that it wasn't going to be a big deal, and I was wrong. I was wrong. You can kill these things anywhere. No! I hit the wrong button. It bit me. Uh, okay. Well, that's what happens when you accidentally hit your Windows key. That is what happens. Okay, so we need bandages. I got a bandage. Fixed it. Good. Let's go. But yeah, apparently you do not have to be in Talon territory to upset the Talon. Any... <clears throat> Any non-predatory uh, animal, I guess, can trigger their rage if you kill it. I mean, I don't know. It's it's one of those things. That's that's the best I can describe it, I guess. Nice big old beach over here. There's a dude. Hi. We just blew up our bike. Well, I guess now I have a reason to build another motorcycle, don't I? Look, he left a perfect little square here. That's odd. Well, I am so glad that we traveled way over here, because now I guess we got to travel back in less than two minutes before it gets dark. Oh, I can't believe that. I did not think that I was going to hit my bike. But I did. But I did. That's all right, though. Because I am going to use this opportunity to gather up some plant protein or vegetables. Because I think these things give vegetables. Yeah. I need to go this way. So yeah, we're going to go this way and we're going to murder anything that we come across. And if we don't quit hitting these giant invisible rocks. Oh, I really thought that restarting the, the game was going to fix that one. No. No, see, look, another one. I don't even know what that is, but it's there. Can I make bandages? Ooh, I can make bandages. Ha ha, make some bandages. Need a little bit more fiber, though. I know there's a lot of fiber by our house, which is this way. I just don't think there's any in the swamp. Hey, look, some mules. Hey, we want to make, get over here. I want to make the, uh, the Talon more upset with us. Don't make me chase you. Oh, there's one of those dudes. We'll just kill this dude. He'll come at us. Hey, you ugly. Easy enough. And we get a little bit more meat out of it. Now, something I've started noticing, and I don't know if this is a bug or a glitch or if it's supposed to be like this, but... You know, it used to be you'd have a stack of meat and it would go to spoil and one piece of meat would spoil. Now it seems like when it goes to spoil, if you have one or if you have 20, it doesn't really matter that the entire stack spoils. And <clears throat> I'm not quite sure I'm in agreement with that. But like I said, I don't know if that's a bug or if they changed that because I really don't know. But I've had like, <clears throat> like before I started this video, I had 10, 
10 steaks grilled up and I went to sleep, started the new day and I had the steaks, I put them in my inventory and then like literally less than 30 seconds later I opened it again and it just had no, uh, it had, it was all rotted. So I don't really know why it's doing that. I don't know if I just missed something where they changed it. Or if it was a bug. Or, you know, what the what the deal actually is. Hey, how'd you get up there? Let me over there. <laughs> yeah, the talent are so gonna hate me, but you know what? That's okay. Because I'm gonna have food. I have no problem with murdering these animals. None whatsoever. Especially if it gives... Oh, I got my level. Yay! But I'm still gonna murder you, so get back here. I will hunt y'all down because y'all keep running towards my base. And just like that, we have plenty of food for the moment. Plenty of food. Now, hopefully the base has power and our fridge can stay on. Oh yeah, I was going to say, I'm just going to ride my bike. Mm, yeah. I'll let y'all know how that works out for me. Little gutter bike, because I used a shotgun. I do think the bikes are just a tad bit weak when it comes to taking a hit from like a shotgun or something. I mean, one hit, poof, gone. Eh, maybe if you hit like in the right spot and cause the spark and. Well, I mean, it, you wouldn't. I mean, these don't even run off of fuel. These run off of what? Energy, a battery. So, eh, maybe, maybe they have a volatile battery on them. Possibly, I don't know. Seems to me like if you could build all these space weapons, that you'd be able to build some sort of stable battery. Just my thought. Do we have power here? We have 2% battery. Go ahead and turn that on. Throw all of that in there. Throw that in there too. I don't care. Throw it all in there. Um, I need to make the armor real quick. There it is. Unlock the armor, and I don't think we can build any other weapons in here, though. <clears throat> no, because the portable constructor is yellow, so yeah. Okay, so we build either... <sighs> what do we need? Build the armor. Since we have the armor, or we're going to have the armor, we might as well unlock the armor locker so next we'll build an armor locker so that we can use our armor and I need to craft a weapon that pistols kind of looking a little damaged let's go ahead and craft a pistol and then we'll have to craft a detector, which we already have a detector. But you know what? We'll just, we'll craft a new one and pretend that we just didn't know. That's what we will do. Okay, so over here, 
I do have that and this. And I think we're going to have to go ahead and put it down as well. And it's going to be a little... You know what? We're just going to put it on the back side for right now. Yeah, we're just going to put it back here. We'll put it like right there and like right there. Okay. And we can still use biofuel for this, right? Yeah, we can. It just It's not going to do us a whole lot, but there you go. Alright, good, great, awesome. Come back over here. And then I'm going to turn all that into steak. Okay, night time. Let's go to morning. Here we are. An internal error has occurred. Uh, why? Why did we get an internal error? What did we not craft a weapon or craft a detector? So I'm going to have to make another one. You know what? Let's make a backup shotgun, I guess. And then we'll make another detector. I don't know. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pause it here, guys. I'm going to exit out of the game and restart the game just so that we have a non-corrupted file, whatever it is. And I'll bring y'all back in just a second. Alright, we are back. Back we are. Gonna try this again. How much meat? Oh, it's going off of the... Yeah, quit doing that then. <sighs> Take that out of there. You make some energy bars with that. Give me that bandage. Okay. Yeah. Build that stuff. We're going to go in here and we're going to store some of our food. And then we'll eat a little bit of it. Let's see, we got six minutes. Yay, we just barely saved it. What about you? Three minutes. Oh, that's even worse. So just out of curiosity, if I were to do this. See, it still says three minutes. So if we were to take this, that's three minutes. Take this, this is six minutes. Six minutes, we stack them together, we get three minutes. Every single one of them. Okay, so stacking good meat with bad meat is not a good idea. That is a horrible idea. <sighs> okay. Once again, I don't know if that's what the game the developers were trying to go for or if that was just like a oopsie byproduct but yeah. yay we did our thing it must have been because i fast forwarded with the night it had to have been had to have been craft a motorbike i can do that because i'm in need of a motorbike now strangest thing ever but you know I need a motorbike. Let's go ahead and toss off our extras. Alright, so it's going to take a minute. Uh, let's see. What to do, what to do, what to do. Um, I know. While we're waiting, we can take a look at... PDA, so it's going to say make a motorbike, and then we find the alien signal. We'll go here, and they'll want us to do a hover vessel. Okay, so I'm not going to do the hover vessel until we get to this protocol. Even though I've already crafted something. What did I craft? A couple hover engines. Okay, not that big of a deal. 
I am glad that I stopped doing what we were doing and held off, though I didn't have to double up on everything. Yay, we got a motorbike. Where is the alien signal? This way. Awesome. Now I wonder if this is the same signal that we've always went to with the little tower or if it's something different. I don't know. I'm going to find out today though. I'm trying not to play any ahead. I'm trying to only do stuff for the videos right now just so that I can be surprised and amazed along with everyone else who's watching. I don't know what's in store for me. And I kind of like that shroud of mystery. Because, you know, honestly, if they would put in some, like, a little bit of RNG in here, get some, you know, get some randomness going on some of the stuff, like, you know, could it be this? Could it be that? You know. What are we doing? Where are we going? And we hit a rock. Or a tree. Or... You get away from me. Something. I don't know. I just think that'd be cool. Have a little bit of randomness to the game. You know, will it always be the little dog that pops out of the tower over here? Or will it be something different this time? Like the Xerax, like it was last time. That surprised me. Hey, we just... How did we get... What did we do? We got 50 reputation with the Talon? Why? We didn't kill anything or do anything. <clears throat> I'm confused, but we got, you know, we got some some points towards being friendly again, so I guess, you know, whatever. If that's what y'all want to do. The fog. The fog is real, ladies and gentlemen. It is real. And here we are at the unknown artifact. Yay! Okay, so we finished that one, and now we're on to basic vehicle. Okay, well, while we're doing that, we're going to go look at this. And so this is different than the other... Than the other one. Yeah, I can hear the generators and stuff inside there, but I don't think there's a way in. Oh, wait, what do we... Oh, we got crates. Since when did they put crates up in these things? I did not know that. We have got to get up there. But how do we get up there? I can turn my jumps on. Well, that almost worked. What if we tried it over here? Aha! Ooh, we got coolness. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Whoa, big jump. Oh, yeah. I like the look of the new generators. It looks like, I don't know. It looks futuristic, even though they don't look practical. They still look cool, though. What do we got here? That's the core, huh? Can I destroy the core? It's not telling me I'm not hurting me. Ooh, she is mine. I can disassemble you now. Ooh. That is awesome. We're going to come back here. 
I'm going to get this stuff, and I'm going to, like, make things. Actually, we need to build us a thing. Can I... Why? Because I have no... No! I used the charge that it came with. Okay, so that's a no-go, but we're going to put... We're going to put a marker right there, and... Oh, I don't know, I guess that waypoint? And then we'll remove it once we get back to it. Did it just remove? I bet it just removed. Ah, oh, you game game okay so anyway we're gonna go back to the base cuz yeah we don't got any fuel in our stupid thingy bobber shoot em or upper thing multi-tool I forgot what it was called for a minute <clears throat> I'm so used to having Promethium. Where is the Promethium? So now I'm wondering, can we do multiple things at the same time? Like, if I were to start the story missions, would it override what we're doing now? Or would it go in conjunction? See, we just got 50... I don't understand. What are we doing right here that's causing us to get 50 points of reputation? Is it because we left the area? It, is it because we're like riding a environmentally friendly vehicle? I, I don't know. It doesn't make sense. I mean, I'm not going to mock it because, you know, if we can repair the thing, we repair the thing. I don't necessarily want to be at war with them, but I will shoot them in the face if it comes to it. I mean, you know, that's just how that is. I don't really see much good to have an alliance with the Talon to begin with anyway. I mean, you know, are they going to protect me from the Xerax? No. Are they going to protect me from, like, the Polaris dudes? No. So, you know, benefits of being friendly. Ooh, I can pick up stuff in their area and they don't get mad. Psh, my area. I take what I want. And I do what I want. So, I don't know. I do not know. All right, so come over here now. I need to get a hovercraft starter block, yeah? Cockpit thrusters, generator, fuel tank. Cock, no, 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 no. I clicked here, cockpit, fuel tank, generator. Uh, thrusters. I'm going to need some RCSs. I'm going to need a couple more of those, probably. And I'm probably going to need some sort of storage on here. So, for right now, I think, I think we can do those. I mean, I know those aren't very big, but something little is better than nothing at all, right? Oh, especially with whenever... Whenever we get, uh, whenever they fully enable the whole volume mass system, oh, that's going to be, that is going to be a headache, guys. I've saw it. I've, I don't want to say I figured it out because, like, I've dabbled with it a little bit. I mean, I kind of understand the process of it, 
but it is it is a new thing it is going to change the game for those of you who have not yet tried it it will change the game i mean you will like literally i need that literally you cannot carry building supplies with you you have to put them into containers and you have to use the little logistics menu and you have to do the little connect thing which gives you the extra toolbar and then you put the stuff in the toolbar and then you can go out and build stuff like that and yeah it's it seems like in theory it's going to be a good system but i just don't know i just don't know it I'm a little bit concerned with some of the new features being too much like, uh, like space engineers, and that's not a good thing. I played space Eng engineers a little bit, and the more complicated they made it, the less I wanted to play it, and that's kind of the direction this headed. Um... Instead of like conveyors and all that stuff connecting everything, they decided to go with the wireless route, which is smart because now you don't have to worry about running tubes and conveyors or whatever they called it all over the place and having everything connected. But honestly, that wasn't really that big of a deal in my opinion. I mean, I could run... A, a connection from you know a constructor like say that's that's our storage and then we had a constructor and just run a little pipe no that's not that big of a deal I could make that look good that would give me reason to put a little bit of flare on my stuff and with the blueprint system and being able to repair it yeah that wouldn't be that big of a deal so I wouldn't have minded a physical form as far as that goes but the whole you can't carry this and you can't carry that and blah 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 that's gonna get old in a hurry but you know that's that's the thing we'll see where it goes we'll see how many people in the community complain some of them might not complain some of them might cheer I don't know I don't know guys let me know your thoughts on it though do you like where the game is heading with the whole mass volume uh, wireless logistics system? Let me know your thoughts on it, guys, because I want to know, because I kind of know what I know, and I know what I like and I don't like, and I'm kind of borderline right now. If it's done correctly, it will be nice. If it's done poorly, it will be a headache. But anyway, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I do hope everybody has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome, awesome, awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself, guys. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, just like to stop, take a moment to thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support, all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared, guys. It is awesome. I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.